and welcome to a very special edition of JPI TV Sports. I'm Dan Pisani. And I'm Kieran Nafino. As you can see, we're outside of our studio, and as some may say we're outside of our area of expertise. You may be right, but we're going to go for it anyway. Every year, Sawyer Motors puts on the best little car show in the Northeast, and this year we decided to share it with our viewers. We are in front of such an impressive assortment of motor vehicles that maybe even Jay Leno, Reggie Jackson, and the great Michael Jordan would be envious. Since it's a special edition and it's summertime, let's go casual for the rest of the episode. I agree. has extended from Main Street all the way down to the new Hotel Diamond Mills. Now, this year, much like when Jackie Robinson broke the color barrier inside the 1940s and when the AFL emerged and made the NFL, this year we have motorcycles inside the car show. I can't wait to see some. Steve, I see you are the owner of this this motorcycle. Tell me a little bit about it. Uh, it is a 1915 Harley-Davidson. It's a completely original motorcycle and uh, it's called the Cannonball Racer. In 2010 I, I raced this motorcycle cross-country with a group of riders. We went from North Carolina to the Santa Monica Pier in LA and we're actually going to do the race again here in 2012. In two months I'll be leaving Newburgh, New York and we're going to ride this bike all the way across the Golden Gate Bridge into San Francisco. Just under 4,000 miles. That That's very impressive. That Wow. Um, oh, why were motorcycles included inside this wonderful car show here? Well, cars and motorcycles really go hand in hand. People that appreciate old cars are the same people that appreciate old motorcycles. And uh, with the with the with us being down here at Diamond Mills, it gave us a, a new opportunity, some more space. And uh, now we've got uh, the inclusion of motorcycles, and people are down here checking them out. Uh, I'm really glad that uh, you know Bob and everybody from Sawyer Motors uh, invited our, our club. We're the Hudson Valley chapter of the Antique Motorcycle Club of America. And uh, hopefully we're here every year from now on. Good. And just quick before I go, I see you're a Met fan. I had to say, are you impressed with the Mets? What do you think about R.A. Dickey? Ari Dickey's the man. I, I, you know, it's amazing how somebody two years ago, the first guy cut from spring training, could now next week start the All-Star game. It just shows that if you uh, you never give up, you can you can conquer what what you want to do. And the Mets are now watchable. Last year you couldn't even watch them. Now you can watch them. Mets are going to be playing some baseball in October this year. Go Mets! Now I got you, Steve. Tell me about some of the bikes here. Well, today I, I drug out about 14 bikes out of my shop between my personal collection and some of my customers. Uh, I'll show you this bike here to start. This is my wife's bike. This is a cool little Harley Davidson that a lot of people might have had when they were growing up. It's a street legal dirt bike, basically, and it's a little uh, 1973 Harley. It's a TX125, and it's a great little bike for running around and making some noise with around town. Yeah. Uh, this bike up here. This is an original 1941 Harley Davidson, and uh, I scored this out of a out off a Craigslist ad in uh, Oklahoma City. So luckily, I've been able to find a lot of these bikes all over the country and bring them back here to Saugerties. You got some nice bikes here. Thank you, thank you. This is a 1952 Harley Davidson. This is my mom's bike. This is Peggy Barber's bike, and this bike was actually sold brand new right in Kerhonks in New York, not too far away from here. And luckily enough, it stayed its whole life here in the Hudson Valley. And lastly, I'll show you this one. 
This one I just scored recently. This came out of a basement in Queens, New York from the original owner. And this is a 1966 Harley Davidson. Been in New York its whole life. And it's all original with just 6,000 miles onto it. So if you hunt, they're still out there, just like these great old cars. Yeah, they're great bikes. Thank you, thank you very much. I heard about taking the show on the road, but this is to a whole new level. the first time you've been to the car show? No, absolutely not. I come every year. Every year. I love it. Do you have a, a specific favorite type of car? Yeah. My first car was a 1937 Plymouth. Yeah, that's 1937 Plymouth. I just saw one up here. Did you ever enter a car into the show? No. Never had enough money to do such a thing. Well, I don't think most people do. It's it's, it's a great show. Um, I wanted to ask, I hear you were a Brooklyn Dodger fan. That's true. Jackie Robinson, you know, Gil Hodges, Huey Reese. Yeah. Were you, um, uh, was that, uh, were you happy with the move from Brooklyn to L.A. with the Dodgers? I was absolutely disappointed. Totally disappointed that they left New York and went to uh, L.A. Are you still a Dodgers fan? Absolutely, absolutely. It's good to know you're still with the team, even though, you know, they never, they, they did go. Got to stick with them, you got to stick with them. Well, now we have the Brooklyn Nets, the, the basketball team, so yeah. it doesn't, it, it doesn't make up for it, but it's no, a little better. Absolutely not, absolutely not. Once a Brooklyn Dodger fan, always a Brooklyn Dodger fan. Agreed, agreed. As you know, no car show is complete without its classic music and classic Corvettes. does this show have on the village of Socrates? A very, very positive impact. Look at the people, thousands and thousands of people, and they're in and out of the stores. Uh, you probably don't have any, but the ice cream, uh, the bars are doing very well. But it's a very, very positive impact. Socrates, I came to Socrates in 1953, and I was mayor for 14 years. I loved it. I'm sorry I got out of it because I love the action. I love the action. This show is followed by the Garlic Festival, which is followed by the Mum Festival, 
and then we take a little hiatus and uh, we get our act, we get our act together and we get ready for the holidays. But it's, it has a very, very positive influence on the village of Sorgan. There's no question about it. Hey, I'm here with a 1950 Cadillac Coupe. This car is so, the shell is so low, it's probably an inch off the ground. I mean, I got so many questions like, how well does this thing do on speed bumps? It must be like dead down there. I, but this car, it, it just fascinates me. It's, it's an amazing car. It's such well conditioned. It's kept clean. And the inside, all leather. It is a very, very nice car. Now this car is one of my favorites, and for one reason only. It gets me in the mood for basketball season and the Orange Men. This isn't the only car that reminds me of the Orange Men. This one does as well. I can't wait until the Orange Men come on. This car is getting me in the mood. This is a 68 America Motors Javelin. And can you tell me a little bit about it? Sure. It's a uh, 290, it's 200 horsepower. It's uh, considered a pony car, like a Mustang or a Camaro or a Challenger or any one of those cars. It's uh, automatic. It's, I'm the second owner. I've had it 20 years. Uh, that's about all there is to say. I mean, the America Motors is now defunct. It went out of business in 1987, so they're kind of rare. So what made you come here to Saugerties all the way from New Jersey for the car show? Well, my friend uh, bought a truck up here in Saugerties, and I went with him to pick up the truck, and the owner of the dealership asked me if I wanted to come to the car show, so I came up. I've never been here before. It's a nice show. All right, so I hear you're a Mets fan. How do you think they're doing this year? I think they're doing great. I'm real pleased. I'm surprised. I hope they continue. I'm here with Rick, and Rick, I gotta ask, this is an amazing car. Where'd you get it? I got it uh, up in Boston Spa in, back in March. Uh, what, um, uh, what kind of car is this? This is a 1915 Touring car, Model T Touring car. Built August uh, 16th, 1915. Is this your first time at the car show here? Yes, first time down in Saugerties at a car show. What do you think of it? It's great. It's a real, really nice car show. It's good for the family. Do, do, do you think you'll come again? Oh, yes, definitely. Yeah. Well, I, I, I hear you're a Giant fan. Yes. What are your expectations for the Giants this coming year? We're winning again. <laughs> We're coming, let me tell you. Way to stay oh, optimistic. What do you think of Giants? Well, I think that they'll make a run. I definitely think they'll make a run. I do, too. We're, we're for them. Are you? Yeah. 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 Well, I'm a, thank you. This Model T's running for 97 years, and we're behind the Giants. <laughs>
Mr. Miller, tell me a little bit about your car. Well, it's a 1971 442 convertible. One of the things that it is is a W30. There was only 110 W30s built in 1971. Out of that 110, there's only two in this color. One here in America and one in Canada. <laughs> so you've got the only car in this color in all of America? That I know of. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. How did you get this car? My wife found it in the papers, in a local paper. Yeah. That's pretty nice. So I hear it's an 8-track car, which means that's way before any cassette or anything. Yes. That, that must have been invented, that was be invented before, my, before I was born, so that's pretty amazing. <laughs> well, there's a lot of things that were early like this. It has AM FM stereo, which was just beginning at this time. It has the 8-track. It has tilt wheel, air conditioning, and it has a his and hers, her shifter that either a boy can drive or a girl can drive. The boy can shift it manually and the girl can put it in drive and drive it just like a regular car. You keep it in amazing condition considering it's over 40 years old. How do you do it? It took five years to restore this car back to what you see here. Originally, it was a 40-year-old looking car. Uh, it took five years and a lot of people to put this car back together like it is today. Muscle cars are always a favorite at the car shows. The, these cars remind me of the strong Bills defense led by Bruce Smith of the 1990s. I hear you've had cars here in the car show before. Yes, I have. What kind of cars have you had here before? I had uh, uh, my dad's Pontiac 71 GTO. Okay. Um, why do you come to the car show? Uh, I like to look at the older cars. Yeah. Is it, um, um, what other car, is, do you have a specific favorite type of car? Oh, uh, not really. I'm just, I like to look around. Yeah, well that's, that's good. Now, I, I've heard you, you, do you like, have you ever gone to the Mustang Bowl? Yes, I've played in it two years. What's your favorite Mustang Bowl memory? Uh, the first year I played, I was a uh, two back and made a touchdown on it. That's, that's a great memory. That's a great one. Well, thank you, Jared. No Rex, 
much. Tell me a little bit about your car. It's a 2005 Ford GT. Red, as you can see. Yes. 550 horse. V8 supercharged. Wow. Is this your only car into the car show? Yes. Have you ever been to the car show before? Yes. Um, Every how many? Year. Every year. What well, do you plan on coming back? Of course. Oh yeah. What do you think about the car show? Do you like it or? It's the best show in the Hudson Valley. It's the I, best show in the state. Agreed. Right? I, I think so. <laughs> yeah. Now I hear you're a Yankee fan. Yeah, as long as they're in first place. And I'm not mad at them. <laughs> so you're a Yankee fan today, but tomorrow you might be an Oriole fan. No, nah, I don't like the Orioles. Red Sox? Yeah, I like the Red Sox. I'm a Red Sox fan. There you go. I like the Red Sox. I just want to say that. So just, you know, I, um, what do you think about the Yankees? Are, are they going to do good for the second half of the MLB season? That's pitching. Pitching, pitching, pitching. Mm -hmm. That's the key. They got the hitting. They got to keep the pitching. All right, well, we'll have to tune into the MLB season, and thank you, Rex. Okay. Casano and Sawyer Motors for making the car show all possible. I hope you all enjoyed the car show as much as we did. This is Dan and Kieran signing out for JPI TV Sports. And remember, no one circles wagons like the Buffalo Bills.